Princess Anne's public persona has been called stoic and very composed, but sometimes her body language tells a different story. From an infamous shrug to an iconic death stare, Anne let her body do the talking during these tense moments. Princess Anne married her first husband, Captain Mark Phillips, in 1973. Around 500 million viewers witnessed the fairy tale ceremony, which was televised worldwide. But it wasn't long before skepticism caught up with the pair. By the 1980s, there were whispers of marriage troubles and an imminent divorce. In 1983, Anne made a surprising move by addressing the rumors during an interview on Parkinson in Australia. Anne's then husband joined her in the hot seat. When asked about the state of their marriage, Anne slammed the rumors, calling them uninformed gossip. I think, you know, when they've got nothing better to do, they'll just think up a story. According to body language expert Judy James, Anne's behavior during the interview showed signs of very mild inner panic. As she answered the question, the princess fidgeted and shifted her hands in her lap. When Philip spoke about their marriage, Anne shot him an iconic death stare. James told Express, Anne is at her best in this interview, using some intimidating techniques like her head tilt, raised chin, and one-arched brow to try to keep regal control during this interview. There was good reason for Anne's uneasiness during the interview. In truth, her marriage to Phillips was indeed plagued with infidelity and unhappiness. The pair ultimately divorced in 1992. Charles may be the King of England, but Princess Anne reigns supreme when it comes to confidence. Unlike her brother, who often shows signs of nervousness, Anne has mastered the art of stoic body language. As expert Judy James told Express, Charles often relies on self-comfort rituals, such as adjusting his cuffs or pocketing his hands, during public appearances. In contrast, Anne's public persona is upright and assertive, with her arms down at her sides, as James noted to Express. Expert Darren Stanton shared similar thoughts about the princess's body language, telling Express, it seems from certain expressions that Anne is the most confident, in my opinion, of all the royal children. The siblings showcased their vastly different personalities during the Trooping the Color ceremony in 2000. As they stood together outside Buckingham Palace, both sported military uniforms. However, only one of them looked truly regal. Charles wore an anxious expression, while Anne looked stern and comfortable. The future king also clasped his hands protectively in front of his body. Anne, on the other hand, stood tall with confidence. It's no secret that Queen Camilla has a turbulent history with the royal family. In the 90s, her affair with then-Prince Charles tore apart his marriage to Princess Diana. Consequently, Camilla spent years trying to repair her public image and her relationship with the royal family. Although Charles and Camilla wed in 2005, some royals weren't so eager to accept her as their in-law. Judy James noticed that Princess Anne wasn't shy about signaling her disapproval of Charles' new wife. The body language expert told Express, Earlier photos do suggest a potential for frostiness between Anne and Camilla. There were few, if any, poses of the two women chatting or even looking relaxed together. In 2005, Anne seemingly gave Camilla a snub during the Order of the Garter service. One photo from the event shows Charles and Anne decked out in their customary robes, with Camilla standing behind them. James analyzed the photo for Express, stating, There seems to be a sense of exclusion here, as Anne stands closer to her brother to apparently push Camilla out of the small group here. Fortunately, the women have worked out their differences over the years. Nowadays, there are more signals of friendship between them, according to James. When it comes to her family's public image, Princess Anne knows the importance of being tactful. So it's no wonder that Anne is eager to keep the peace with her controversial niece, Meghan Markle. Since marrying Prince Harry in 2018, Markle's relationship with the royals has been fraught. Some watchers believed that Anne had reservations about Markle from the start. However, Anne challenged that notion in October 2018 when she shared a tender moment with Markle. While attending Princess Eugenie's wedding, the pair had a pleasant conversation and even shared some laughs. Judy James told Express, Meghan's passion for her causes and her eloquence, plus what looks like a shared sense of humor, did throw up some poses where the two women looked genuinely happy in each other's company. Princess Anne is known for being unapologetically blunt and sassy. Anne's legendary wit was the center of attention in 2019 when she had a surprising reaction to then-President Donald Trump. I think it's great. The notorious moment took place during a celebration of NATO's 70th anniversary. While greeting Trump, Queen Elizabeth II turned and gestured to Anne, who stood in a nearby doorway. Rather than joining them, Anne shrugged and continued keeping her distance. Many perceived the shrug as a diss against the controversial politician. Knowing that the royals are supposed to be politically neutral, insiders scrambled to defend Anne and the iconic shrug. A source told Vanity Fair, the princess was unhappy to be dragged into that particular story because she has always been careful not to be seen to be political in any way. A royal correspondent also weighed in on X, formerly known as Twitter, writing, no, she didn't snub the Trumps, and she wasn't told off by the queen. Trump was the last leader to be received by the queen. Anne raised her hands in the air, laughed, and said, it's just me. I know what Twitter is, but I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Still, some observers remain convinced that Anne's body language did reveal her true feelings about Trump. 
When Queen Elizabeth II died on September 8, 2022, it shook up the monarchy and captured international attention. And the thoughts and prayers of the American people are with the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in their grief. All eyes were on the royal family during her televised funeral, which drew 28 million viewers in the UK alone. Princess Anne put on a solemn, dignified face for the service, but her body language showed obvious signs of heartbreak. Body language expert Sonia Beldum noted for the Scotsman that Anne looked very composed and stoic in an effort to maintain her usual stiff upper lip persona. According to Judy James, Anne's body language mirrored Queen Elizabeth's behavior during the funeral of her husband, Prince Philip. James told the Daily Mail, Anne is trying to show strength and mourning in the style of her mother and her father. The memory of her mother sitting isolated but still resilient at Prince Philip's funeral seems to be a stance Anne is trying to emulate. Despite her strong exterior, Anne was understandably distraught over the death of her beloved mother. James told the Daily Mail, At one point, she clasped her hands in a steepled gesture of self-control, but her thumbs were rubbing against one another in a self-comfort ritual. In another act of reverence, Anne curtsied to the Queen's coffin as it was being carried into Holy Rood House in Scotland. The gesture signified Anne's deep respect and everlasting love for the late sovereign. Luminaries packed the house for King Charles III's coronation in 2023, but one of the most anticipated guests was Charles' son, Prince Harry. Although Harry famously left the firm in 2020, some hoped that his attendance might signal a reconciliation between the prince and his estranged family members. Unfortunately, Harry kept his distance from many of his kin, including his older brother, Prince William. To add insult to injury, Harry was seated several rows behind William and the other senior royals. Some royal watchers were convinced that the family had conspired to punish Harry with the awkward seating arrangement. I don't think that we can ever have peace with my family unless the truth is out there. However, Princess Anne's behavior at the event suggested otherwise. When Anne saw Harry at the coronation, she didn't give him the cold shoulder. Instead, she greeted him with warm, welcoming body language. The pair exchanged a silent greeting, and Harry flashed a smile at his aunt. Royal expert Jenny Bond told OK Magazine that they seemed very relaxed together during the exchange. Bond told the outlet, It was entirely natural to stop and chat with her nephew, with whom I think she got on pretty well over the years, rather than cause some kind of public scene. Still, Bond suspected that Anne was putting on a diplomatic face. She went on to add, It was better to be amiable, but I am quite sure that deep down, Anne has been absolutely furious with Harry for upsetting her mother, his grandmother, so much in her last years. Princess Anne may be known as the most stern and hardworking member of the royal family, but she also holds another important title, Grandma. Anne has five grandchildren with whom she shares an adorably close relationship. In 2016, a source told the Daily Mail that Anne is a hands-on grandmother who supports her grandchildren and loves to play games with them. Throughout the years, she's been seen performing numerous grandma duties, such as keeping the children entertained or coming to the rescue during a tantrum. Clearly, the Princess Royal doesn't hold back on expressing her love for her grandkids. Anne was at her grandmotherly best in 2015 while enjoying an adorable romp with her granddaughter, Mia Tyndall. While Mia's mother, Zara, competed in an equestrian event nearby, Anne spent quality time with the toddler. Anne carried the little girl and snuggled her warmly before putting her down for some playtime. When the pair encountered a friendly dog, Anne knelt and held Mia's hand so she could greet the animal. Judging by her affectionate body language, it's easy to see that Princess Anne is loving the granny life. Judy James told Express, her facial expressions might sometimes suggest she can be a rather stern granny, but it's also clear her playful side is triggered with the young children. She looks doting and delighted to spend time in their company. 